Am I... Am I smart or... And guys, I mean that's... Dyson Corel is really amazing, I really like it, but it's a hair straightening device with a price of $500. $500. Hey guys! So I've recently uploaded a reel to my Instagram and it got 25k views and it's my absolute record. I never got so many likes. I got two, 2k likes I think and 25k views and it's for me it's viral. <laughs> for me it's viral and this reel was about Dyson Corral. Uh, it was called like let's test, let's put Dyson Corral on a test. I will insert the video here and I was thinking it got a lot of attention on Instagram, but but surprisingly it got absolutely nothing here on YouTube. Maybe I should film a long video about Dyson Crawl, because why not? <laughs> Social media is random and I really like it that everyone, literally everyone can be on social media, can post, can post videos. You don't have to be professional to post videos on YouTube, you don't have to be a photographer to post photos on Instagram. You just gotta enjoy this. So yeah, I just wanted to share my success with you guys and also I wanted to try film a long video review. I think it would be very hard because I cannot just make a free takes and then when editing just pick one because my hair would be dead, obviously. And yeah, let's try. I know that Dyson is very expensive and not necessarily worth it. I just want to tell you guys my story, why I'm buying Dyson, why do I need it, and should you buy it. Of course, I cannot decide for you, it's only your choice, but there will be pros and cons of Dyson Corral and the reason why I love it. So yeah, let me share my story with my first Dyson. It's actually a kind of funny story because I went to Miami. We went to uh, USA, it was my first time in US. It was like five years ago or four. It was a long time ago, guys. So we went to Los Angeles first on a road trip and then we ended up in Miami. We didn't drive to Miami. We obviously took an airplane just saying so we have we're not that crazy but we actually went from Los Angeles to Yellowstone National Park and guys we almost died we almost died we drove so so many hours we drive so long that we almost died literally if you have like last minute plans like let's visit Grand Canyon at night or Antilope Canyon at night and then go to airport to fly to Miami just don't do it so yeah we ended up in Miami and visiting Sephora, I thought like, why don't I buy the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer? Because the price is kind of better here than in Europe. And guys, I bought it. And it wasn't very smart because, you know, US and Europe have like different adapters. You know, we have different <laughs> these things. And, you know, American Dyson won't work in Europe. So yeah, when I came back to my country in Europe and I wanted to use my Dyson and also I bought an adapter for Dyson. Uh, so yeah, I would like, you know what is the adapter. And I bought this, I bought actually two, none of them worked, so I was all in tears. And huge thanks to my husband who bought me European Dyson and who sold my US Dyson. I wasn't very smart back, back then. I don't know, I don't know if it would work like backwards, like this Dyson in America, I don't know. I certainly won't, won't travel with my Dyson because it's so pricey. So when I understand that my Dyson won't work, I was devastated because I really like this uh, supersonic air dryer because, you know, it's very humid in Miami and my I have a lot of hairs and my hair was always wet always wet. It just won't dry, it just won't air dry there and 
uh, the hotel air dryer wasn't working on me because I was like sweating all the time I'm using it I'm sweating and my hair is wet again and I need to shower and I need to go to shower and it was like it was like a loop <laughs> so I didn't like it in Miami at first but I loved it at the end. Dyson was great on my hair. I love that it has this cooling function. For example, in comparison to other hair dryers, I would spend like hour or hour and a half to go out after washing my hair when like using hair dryer. And with Dyson I spent like 15 to 20 minutes and it's amazing. And yeah, as I have the thickest hair in the world, it's really it's really a pain for me to wash it, to style it, to dry it, to blow dry it. It's really a pain. And with Dyson, I see less split ends, I see less damage on my hair. My, my hair is not that dry as with other hair dryers. And after buying Dyson hair dryer, I also bought the Dyson Air Wrap and Dyson Corral. Uh, I didn't buy the Dyson Corral myself, I got it as a present and it's amazing. Thank you, thank you my husband. And guys, please don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying that Dyson is like a necessity for you. It's, it's really not because there are a lot of amazing brands out there and you can get a lot of great hair straighteners for half of the price of a Dyson. I mean, it's 500. Dyson curl for me isn't really that amazing because I still have my like high school straightener and yes it damages my hair a lot more than Dyson of course but it straightens my hair perfectly there are actually and I and I've heard a lot of great things about uh, GHD straighteners so you might as well check other brands before before buying Dyson Corral. And if you have this money, if you want to splurge on Dyson, if it's a sale or you get a present, you're the luckiest girl in the world. Okay guys, let's start. I'm talking nonsense here. I'm basically moving from I love Dyson to the moon and back to I don't think that you need it. It's not like perfect. And yeah, let's straighten my hair. And I'm sorry guys, it's my first product review and my thoughts are like... So when you buy a Dyson, you get this velvet case. Uh, I don't have it. I don't actually know where it, is, where it is. And yeah, you get this velvet case for traveling. And as I said before, I won't travel nowhere. <laughs> I won't travel with my Dyson because it's pricey and I don't want to break it and I don't want to break it, I don't want to lose it, I don't want anyone to break it. Have you seen how they handle our luggage in airport? I don't want to put Dyson there. And, and my hand luggage, maybe yes, but maybe my baby finds it and he will play with it. And I'm not a fan of this idea. So, so also you get this Dyson stand. So you can, yeah, you can put your Dyson like this and it's also a cordless device, which is amazing. So, which I also like, this adapter, it's magnetic. So, probably when you work it, probably, probably if you use it with a cord, it can easily go, go off like this, but your Dyson won't turn off. So don't worry for that, but I would recommend you to straighten your hair with full battery So you won't have to do like this and my Dyson is just always attached like this Am I... Am I smart or... I am smart <laughs> So my Dyson is always like sitting like this in my bedroom, in my bathroom obviously. You open your Dyson and turn it on, then you have the temperature, you have 165, 185 and 210. I always choose the 185 because 
because my uh, hairstylist or hairdresser recommended me this temperature and of course I'm using the heat protectant cream I use the Briagio and I kind of use a lot because I have a thick hair and Dyson is ready <laughs> I also love that it's so 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 quick I love the Dyson Whoa! I feel like when I use the cream instead of the spray I can I get like to work it into my hair more and I feel like my hair is protected better when with a spray when you just like spray for spray for spray and go. So let's start. Also heard a lot of stories that, that your Dyson won't last till the full process of hair straightening. Um, for me it's okay, that was also about what was that reel that went viral. And they claim that Dyson can achieve up to 30 minutes cord free styling with the Dyson Corral Straightener. Exact time depends on your hair type and styling habits. The full charge takes just 70 minutes. So yeah, let's see how long will it take for me to strain my hair. So what I love in Dyson is that Dyson really cares about our hair. Intelligent heat control responds to thickness, texture and length of your hair and automatically controls the temperature for optimal styling results. What distinguished Dyson from other brands are flexible plates they are using to shape and gather hair, enabling enhancing styling with less heat. This allows you to achieve the same style with the half of the damage. It also reduces frizz and flyaways. Okay, we're finished and as you see I have still like almost half of the battery full so it means that it got me like 15, 10 to 15 minutes to straighten my hair. So many people actually don't like that it's heavy but I don't mind it, I don't actually feel it as as I have a toddler at home who weighs like 10 or 11 kilograms and you know, if anything weighs less than 10 kilo, it's like feathers to me and I don't mind it. I really like that it's cordless and if you want to make something cordless, I guess you have to put some Dyson technology inside so it would be heavier than the regular straightener. I would say 
it's a lot heavier than the regular straightener you don't really feel the regular straightener in your hands you certainly feel Dyson uh, I don't know how much does it weight I will weigh it here and yes I like that it's cordless because whenever I do something with my hair anything my turtle my toddler is always near and he would grab the cord and play with it and he obviously wants to play it I certainly wouldn't want that because it's 185 degrees here Celsius so overall I really like using my Dyson and I really like it my hair is very soft after straightening I also use the Briagio hair oil after straightening just in case to to retain the moisture <laughs> and I really like how soft my hair is and I really like that I see less split ends and my hair is not as dry as before don't get me wrong here guys uh, I certainly don't want you to spend all your money on Dyson Coral Dyson straightener it's not a necessity you don't have to have it or you don't need to have it you can have it if you want it and if you want to splurge and if you want to splurge on this I would say go for it because I'm, I never regretted buying Dyson not even once so thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you could make it uh, to, <laughs> to the end and I hope this video isn't a million years long and I also hope that you understand what I wanted to say and you actually see how I straighten my hair because I don't see what I film and I hope it's okay okay thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was somewhat helpful and i see you guys in my next one bye